Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can tell by the title, I am doing a pretty little thing haul. I spent a hundred dollars, a hundred Australian hard worked for dollars on clothes and accessories from Pretty Little Thing and I do not regret it so far. <laughs> um, there are a couple of things that I have not tried on in this haul yet, like while I'm talking about it I haven't tried it on but in the try on clip you'll see me try it on. Um, I have tried on a majority of them, there's just a couple of pieces that I, when I'm talking about them I'm kind of just estimating, like not estimating but just describing to you what I see. I thought that um, I would try them on all before this video, but I just didn't have time and just doing the best I can, all right? I'm gonna be reading out from my receipt. I'm just gonna go in the order of all this stuff and um, I really hope you enjoy. Please don't forget to subscribe um, because we are so close to 2,000 subscribers and honestly, what the heck? <laughs> I am so grateful. Thank you so, so much for being here. Um, and I love doing hauls, so that's why I'm back again with another one. So, let's just get started with this whole video. So the first thing on my receipt is this baby pink striped swing t-shirt. Now this was $11 and I got it in a size 14. So, it's the one I'm wearing right now. It has black, white and pink stripes. I think this is adorable. I do not normally wear colors like these mainly because I don't wear white because I fake tan a lot and I don't want it to like rub off on it or like if I hold up my arms and there's like like I've sweated or something there's gonna be like orange like under my armpits you know what I mean it's just not classy can you hear that I can hear that and it's annoying me goodbye okay I think it's gone so really really love this I was a bit scared of the fit of this because I did get a similar kind of top from Pretty Little Thing in my last haul and it just wasn't the fit that I wanted it to be. It was quite tight and form fitting. This is flowy and just easy breezy. <laughs> I just hit my funny bone and I tried to ignore it and it just, it's not making me laugh. It's not funny. It really hurts. So this is great. I love the fit. I love how it feels. It's soft. Um, this is where it comes up to. Oh my God, I nearly just like fell into the camera. I don't know if you can see that, but it comes up to just like past my belly button. And when you sit down, like it covers your belly, which is what I want and what I'm sure a lot of people want. Um, I'm not saying that people aren't proud of their bodies, but just to be like comfortable and stuff. I just like having stuff covering my muffin top. <laughs> and yeah, I think this is an adorable little staple top. I could see myself keeping this for ages. It's just something simple to throw on with like jeans or leggings with like a jacket or something. I just think it's really, really gorgeous. Next up are these Light Wash True Boyfriend Fit Jeans. These were $27.50, which I think is a bargain on jeans. Oops. <laughs> Especially on jeans this quality. Like on jeans this quality? for jeans of this quality. I think the quality is so nice, um, especially being bought online. Not saying that online shops aren't like credible, but like you get a bit iffy buying jeans online, but this was not a mistake. So these are the jeans here. They are not tight at all. I, I have skinny jeans in this color that I've had for ages from Topshop and they've lasted me a very good while. Um, but I just wanted some relaxed jeans in this um, like light wash denim color because all of my other jeans are like black and um, like dark wash so I thought that this would be a good addition to my jean collection since we are coming into winter I thought that this would be good so they are boyfriend jeans you'll see it better in the try on haul but they cuff at the bottom and I tried these on for a quick second they have um, real pockets at the back so hello which is great and real pockets at the front they have a belt ow I keep hitting I keep hitting my funny bone on the side of this bedside table here. <laughs> it really hurts. So, what was I saying? I don't know what I was saying. Okay, anyway, I just love these jeans. I, I tried them on for a quick second. Haven't worn them out yet, but I actually can't wait to. So, love. And um, I did get these in a size 12. Um, and I'm glad that I got them in a size 12, not a 14, because my 
bum and my waist are different in sizes so I normally tend to kind of cater for one or the other and it just ends up not fitting in another place but these fit both so thank you pretty little thing for blessing me with these great jeans <laughs> the next thing on my receipt is the day Debria, Debria grey high-waisted jersey leggings and I got these in a size 12 and they were $7.50 so these are one of the things I have not tried on um I I don't know about these I'm a bit scared that they're going to be a bit loose but I hope that they're not <laughs> um I, I'm sure they won't be it's just the material that it's made out of um sometimes is a bit like What's the word like with leggings you want them to fit you don't want them to be falling down or loose you know what i mean so i'm sure that these will be fine but this is what they look like they're just high-waisted i really really love that they're high-waisted um i don't have a lot of high-waisted leggings so this is good and i just really wanted them in gray because why not black is kind of boring sometimes so yeah okay here's the rundown on these gray leggings i'm not going to show you how they look like from the front because I hate it um, but I am someone that doesn't really wear like cropped tops with their leggings so I wouldn't actually be wearing these leggings with a top like this this is just the only one I kind of have on hand at the moment and it is cropped <laughs> so I'll show you from the back they are very full length which is really really good so if you were to just kind of wear them like they're very comfortable you know what I mean so the length is really nice um, it's a bit see-through I am wearing like black, um, what are they called? Underwear. Um, and they're not like seam free. Sorry, I was just like, um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I will probably just keep these and wear them like around the house and stuff, just with like not cropped jumpers. But yeah, I mean, I wouldn't wear it out with like a crop jumper just yet. Need to lose some belly fat, but. You know, however you're comfortable. I mean, whatever. I love how it's high waisted though. Like if you were wearing a jumper or anything, it would be so so comfy and yeah. So the next thing on my list is the sand triple shoulder stripe crop sweater in size large and it was fifteen dollars. So that is the jumper I was wearing in my previous video. It is gorgeous. I love it. Um I love how it's made, I love the quality. It's just like really, really nice. And we don't have anything like this in stores in Australia at the moment. And I just love the, um, what's it called? Variety of clothes that Pretty Little Thing has. And they're just so trendy. And I think this would go really well with the jeans um, because the jeans are quite high-waisted and this is quite cropped, which you'll see in the try-on bit. But yeah, so it has black and white stripes on the, um, on the arms and like on the shoulders so that's what that looks like and it just is really well made i would definitely recommend getting this jumper the next thing i got was this necklace so they call it the gold renaissance triple layer delicate chain pendant and it comes in one size and it was nine dollars so these have been really on trend lately they're kind of like the religious kind of like pendant necklaces <laughs> i don't know how to describe it but i've seen them everywhere and um so this is kind of like a choker one so it is triple layer like it said and um the pendant looks like let's see if i can show you like yay so that's what it looks like and um you just wear it like so i can't really clip it up because of my nails i had to get someone else to help me so i'm just going to like kind of vaguely show you how it would look I wouldn't wear it with something as busy as this top, but as you can see, it would just like go up like that, and then that's what it would look like. And I think this would be a really, really nice addition to a um, like a deep cut top or a um, or even high neck tops. Like you know, do whatever you want. So the second last thing on my receipt is this top. This is called the Light Blue Scarf Print Crop Top and I got it in a size 14 and it was $11. So this is what it looks like. I love the print. This is very, very outside of my comfort zone, by the way. I don't ever wear things like this. <laughs> um, I am not a 
going out girl well i haven't been things might change you never know so um this would be something really nice to pair with some like white pants i think white would really go well with this um even black would as well but i just think white would go really well with this to be honest it's very very short so like you'll see in the try on bit but like it is very short and i am not a big fan of singlet tops and you might think, why'd you buy it then? Um, because I wanted to try new things and it was only $11, so lay off. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm excited to see how this goes. I don't have like too high hopes for it because of my like body shape, but we'll see. I hate this. <laughs> I do not like this top. If I like go up, like if I actually like show you how it looks, like no. I don't like it. It doesn't fit properly like the band at the bottom just does nothing and my boobs are so not supported and you can't really wear a bra with it either I feel like so it's a no from me from this top. <laughs> the last thing I got you might have seen in my most recent video um, as well <laughs> as the other jumper. This is the black flat top Baker Boy hat and it comes in one size and it was $14. So everyone in the dog owns ones of the <laughs> everyone in the dog owns one of these hats. So this is a Baker Boy hat. It has this type of design on it. If you can see that, it has two gold details on the sides, and then at the back it continues with that pattern that was on the front. And I thought this would be a very good trial Baker Boy hat because instead of spending like fifty bucks on one of these hats. I would just spend like $14 on it. So I still don't know if I quite suit it. <laughs> um, in my video, I thought I liked it, but I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> um, I'm sure with like the right outfit, it would go really well um, and in the dark, <laughs> but yeah, I'm not sure. But this is a really nice quality um, hat and I really, really enjoyed wearing it in my video so hopefully i can get more use out of this as well because it is coming into winter i want my head to be warm so this might come in handy so guys that is the end of my haul i really really hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to comment anything you want how's your day what you're doing i don't know um comment some video ideas if you have any and tell me what you think of the products i don't know have you shot from pretty little thing before i don't know um yeah i just really hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video bye